Hey friend, in this video, we're gonna be painting a globe forest type thing, forest in a circle watercolor video. I actually did this full tutorial on TV one time. It was on the Hallmark channel, not like, you know, HGTV or something, but. Hey, it was cool. It was cool. I was not that nervous, surprisingly. Cameras in my face everywhere, like now. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm gonna paint, paint you. I'm gonna show you how to paint a watercolor circle forest. Um, and we talk about our trips to Big Sur and Yosemite, and I think it's really freaking beautiful. And you get to hear a story of John climbing a mountaintop, backpacking in the middle of the night, being chased down by bears. So make sure you watch the full video to get that story. It's a good one. <laughs> it's a good one. Let's dive in. So I'm gonna be painting a forest in a circle. It's kind of a trend these days to do it. And I thought we would do a tutorial on it. Um, so I am gonna do like a nighttime vibe and I want you to picture laying on the forest floor and looking up at the stars and having these really tall trees kind of pointing to the center of the circle because you're laying on your back and they're kind of coming in at an angle um, overhead and you're gonna have some night sky in the middle too. So I'm gonna grab Prussian blue, Mars black. I did sketch a circle, so I grabbed this fancy circular object and just traced it. So if you want a little outline of your circle, then go ahead and do that really lightly. Also, if you're curious what that is, stay tuned. Stay freaking tuned. For a really fun tutorial. Or really video. fun video coming up. Yes. Suspense. Suspense. Any guesses in Ooh. the comments? We like that. About what this object is for and what we're filming. Um, okay, so I'm going to grab just a, a lot of water and a touch of this color and actually with my size 16 brush, so I can fill it in quicker. I'm just gonna be laying down a really wet layer. That's our lightest layer first, and then we're gonna go back in and add darker color on top, but we want it to blend really nicely. Not really following my sketch, but that's okay. So I'm keeping it really wet. That's why I'm using my size 16 brush because that's the biggest brush I have on hand. And I'm gonna go back over certain areas to make sure it stays wet. Lay down this like light blue gray wash. And as you can see, this is still really wet. I can move the water and pigment around. So now I'm gonna grab more of this color, a little bit lighter though. So I've grabbed this color and I'm just gonna rinse off a little bit of it in the water cup. And I'm going to kind of sprinkle it around, maybe outline some clouds here and there. Now even darker. So the trees on top of this are gonna be black. So we're doing pretty close to black for our night sky, but we don't wanna do black because then our trees wouldn't show up. Going in on top with darker color while it stays wet. Kinda looks like the earth. I was just gonna say, you could stop right there and just have a cool looking planet. <laughs> I want it to blend a little bit more cause we're gonna do some, probably gonna do some stars too. So just going back over those lighter areas and mixing in a little bit, maybe grabbing my dry brush after and picking up some of the color. I want to add some purple to the night sky, so I'm going to grab Opera Rose and a touch. 
of Prussian blue. While it's still wet and it'll blend really nicely for you. Just kind of move it around. That was fun. That was fun. That was very mesmerizing. <laughs> Let's see what adding some turquoise does. That might be fun. This is manganese blue. Just kind of poking it in. Which is one of those techniques that we talked about, huh? Poke. Poking. Complete beginner's guide to watercolor, folks. Check it. Has it all little more darker color and then we're ready for this to dry and add our trees. Just a couple dark spots that are maybe misty trees coming in, but not too much. Now we're ready for that to dry. All right, next, I'm basically just gonna be painting trees pointing to the center of this circle, just right here, and maybe there's no trees back there. It's maybe an edge of a cliff or something, so you only see sky, I don't know. Use your imagination, but I'm gonna use my size two brush and Mars Black, a thick amount of Mars Black on my brush so that the trees are really dark. And make sure your trees are pointing to that center point because if you have a tree that's you know over here and is pointing that way but everything else is pointing to the center it's going to feel off um, but that's just kind of how it's framed um, especially when you've got your head on the floor of the forest and you're looking straight up so i'm just going to use the tip of my round brush so little to no pressure and i've got a vertical hold and i'm just gonna pull it up and use the side of the brush, so about like a 35 degree hold on the brush, and just kind of dance around the stick or the trunk. The stick. Tree? It's kind of eerie. Mm hmm. Try not to obviously go out here. Then our next tree, boop. They're not all gonna be the same height. Some might be taller, some might be shorter. So I'm gonna do one that's a little shorter right here. Does a painting like this take you back? To? Anything. A forest? of sorts. Yeah, I mean like some specific fun little story. Yeah, I mean, I, one of my favorite forest areas to explore in the world. I haven't been to tons, of, obviously there's so many beautiful national parks in the US. Canada seems to have it going on with the trees. I would love to go to Norway. I'd love to explore the world um, and see all the trees, but one of my favorite spots for being in forest area is Big Sur. I've been there, I think, four times now. One of those times was on our honeymoon. Woot woot. Um, Back when we were babies. Yeah, I was 21, you were 22. Wow. Children. Almost 11 years ago. Yeah. Um, but I just think that area is so beautiful uh, with the redwood trees kind of hanging out on the coast. How about you, John? 
I guess this particular painting would remind me of some like backpacking trips I've been on, mm -hmm. which is like not a lot. I'm not Mr. Outdoorsy Backpacker. I would I would like to be, <laughs> but did um, one little fun Yosemite trip. Right. Literally just like hiked super duper far and then just threw some tents up. And actually- In the middle of the night. Yeah, one, well, I'll just tell the story here. So sketchy. Ooh, a, f a friend and I showed up at Yosemite at about 10 p.m. after driving from South Orange County. And we got there and we literally were, like, were in the parking lot, just put our backpacks on and started hiking. And we hiked five miles up the mountain. In up, the dark. In the dark, like with headlamps. Now, five miles, that might not sound like a lot. To, that might sound like a lot to some people. To some people, it might not sound like a lot. But we're not talking five miles like flat. Flat. We're talking about like significant elevation. Like it was literally just straight up the whole time. And it was very, very windy and definitely spooky. <laughs> we got to the top at about 2 a.m. And I couldn't not think about how a nice big old bear might just want a little midnight snack. I couldn't stop thinking about that. But it was it was two in the morning and it, it, we were just dead exhausted. We each had a tent, but we just set one up and just- Cuddled. Just spooned it out for the night. Because <laughs> for one, we were freezing cold. And for two, we were so tired that we were like, not about to set up two tents. So we did that and then uh, which is, it, it was very obvious, it was very foresty, you know, it was kind of like this. It was kind of like literally actually as I'm telling the story and looking at this painting, I'm like, yep. And there's actually photos with the pink too that you guys took. Yeah, so that was, that was another night. That was, that was our second night. I can, right. I can tell you about. But that morning after that 2 a.m. finally we went to bed, we wake up and it's just like, you know, the night before we started at the parking lot. And then, but we didn't, you couldn't really tell, you know, like how high you had gotten or like whatever, cause it was all in the dark. And then we woke up and like, we were totally rewarded the next morning with just like Actually. insane views. Yeah, of like straight looking at Half Dome at Yosemite and, and it was- And nobody really around cool. too. And no one up there. It was literally just us two woke up with the sun and brewed some uh, coffee and it was just like the most rewarding coffee and view of all time because we worked so hard for it the night before and then we, we couldn't appreciate the views as we were going because it was pitch black but pretty freaking cool it was really really cool and then the next night we well then we hiked down and then found a different trail to do which one of the rangers park rangers told us is actually one of the steepest trails in Yosemite. So we're like, that sounds fun. Very difficult and not fun, certain aspects of that. But we got to the top, we found this huge slab of rock and we set up our tents and drank a little whiskey. And I've, I've literally never seen a sky so bright pink and like entirely bright pink mm. like the entire sky was neon pink no joke so i'm done with the trees and i'm now gonna add some stars up here with white designer gouache from windsor newton um and my size two brush and there's just a little whoops maybe some gray stars because there was some black on my brush and use the tip of the brush and just boop, 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 boop. Some bigger than others. 
kind of scattered. Let us know in the comments how many stars you see. I love games. I'm so glad that you just did that. It's so fun. So either count along if you're fast enough or guess. Did you have any specific stories? Not really. Like th like this right here doesn't remind you of a time? I mean, it just reminds me of trees that I've seen <laughs> at night. And where were those trees that you saw at night? I said Big Sur, remember? It's one of my favorite. Yeah, I suppose so. Some of the most beautiful trees and cliffs over the edge of the Pacific Ocean. There we go, folks. Night sky in Yosemite. Under the stars and the trees. Boop. One more. One more. No. Okay. There. Oh. Okay, now. We're just getting a little out of hand here. There you go. We're done. Ah, we're done. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you have any sketchy forest hiking stories like John did, drop them in the comments. I love a good sketchy story um, or just a good story in general. So, you know, let us know in the comments below if you have any, or maybe it's your favorite location or forest that you like to go to or have been to in your life. Like mine was Big Sur. Um, his memory was from Yosemite, California. So hit us up in the comments. Let's go explore those tree foresty wonderlands. <laughs> Um, as always, thank you so much for watching our videos. If you um, are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future tutorials. Also, liking and commenting on a video goes a really long way for us. It helps us boost up higher in the algorithm and people's feeds. Um, we put so much work and effort into these YouTube videos, the time setting up, tearing down, editing, filming, all of the things. So. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, please make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, hit the like button and do all the comments. I know, I know, I'm asking of so many favors, but it <laughs> is, so needy. I'm so needy, but it really would help us out a lot and it means the world. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.